honorable members, just over a third of the population is under the age of 15. Our country, like many others, has a crisis of youth unemployment. Last May, I asked constituencies at NEDLEC to discuss youth employment incentives. I'm pleased that discussions have been concluded and that agreement has been reached on key principles. The parties will sign their accord later this month. The incentives will add to what government is already doing to empower the youth. State-owned enterprises provide apprentices and learnerships, and we urge that these be increased. We appeal to the private sector to absorb 11,000 FET graduates who are awaiting placements. The Department of Rural Development and Land Reform runs the National Rural Youth Service Corps, which has enrolled 11,740 young people in various training programs. The department is also planning nine rural youth hubs per province, including in the 23 poorest districts in the country. We will also use the expanded public works program and the community work program to absorb young people. Working together, we will find a solution to youth unemployment. Honorable members, we identified tourism as one of our job drivers. Tourist arrivals grew at an impressive 10.7% between January and September 2012, which is higher than the global average of 4% for last year. <laughs> Ironically, the very success of South Africa's national conservation effort resulting in over 73% of the world's rhino population being conserved here has resulted in our country being targeted by international poaching syndicates. We are working with recipient and transit countries such as Vietnam, Thailand, and China, and are intensifying our efforts to combat this increasing scourge. 